Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Peter and the Starcatchers by Dave Barry and Ridley, Ridley Pearson. Now, um, you may, rec may or may not actually recognize the name Dave Barry. Dave Barry um, was a fairly famous um, American uh, columnist. Uh, he wrote for the Miami Herald um, and uh, most of his... Um, writing was was comedic in nature um, he's written a number of uh, movies uh, one that was if i remember right um <clears throat> that <clears throat> had um tim allen in it um yeah yeah made a big it was called big trouble uh, Tim Allen, Rene Russo. It was actually pretty funny. Um, I, I enjoyed that one. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not sure what I was expecting when I read um, Peter and the Star Catchers, although I think, based on some of the other stuff that I'd read by by Dave Barry, I'd read some of his some of his uh, articles, um, and I'd read at least one of his books. Um, <clears throat> There was actually even a, uh, um, a short-lived television series that was based on Dave Barry. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was called. Um, no, can't can't remember what it was. Um, anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure that when I picked this up, I thought, oh, it's going to be Peter Pan, but funny. You know what I mean? Um, it's really not Peter Pan, but funny. Uh, there are some humorous episodes in the book, um, but by and large, the tone is not lighthearted, I would say. Um, <clears throat> anyway. This is a, a kind of a an attempt to I don't know, attempt is the right word, but this is an alternate take on Peter Pan. Uh, definitely doesn't follow J. M. Barry's kind of original origin for Peter Pan. Um, instead, Peter is an orphan, <clears throat> and he's living in London uh, with some other orphans who are basically shanghai uh, and put on a boat called the Neverland. Um, out at sea, they find that there is a girl on board. Her name is Molly Astor, uh, and she's about the same age as Peter Pan. Um, <clears throat> and there is a pirate that's involved called uh, Black Stash, because of his black mustache. <clears throat> Now, Black Stash has found that there's a treasure on, on a ship at sea, and he is dead set on recovering this treasure because of it. it it's more than just treasure. It's, it's power. It's magic. Um, <clears throat> and he find so he thinks he finds it. But in reality, the trunk that was on board the ship that he found was a decoy. And so they, <clears throat> they realized that, um, another ship set out at the same time kind of thing. And the trunk must, you know, the trunk with the treasure must be on that ship. Indeed, it is on that ship. It is on the ship with Peter and Molly. Um, <clears throat> Molly belonging to a, uh, a secret society uh, who whose job it is to find, uh, periodically, they call it star stuff. It's not really a very imaginative name. Uh, but this star stuff comes to Earth, and <clears throat> it can bestow great magical powers and, and things upon uh, the people who come in contact with it. And um, so it is up to them to keep this star stuff from people like Black Stash who would use it for evil. <clears throat> So Peter comes in contact with the star stuff, and that's how we get Peter Pan. Uh, it makes it so that he never ages. It makes it so he flies, all this stuff. 
um, <clears throat> the thing is, is that, as I said before, when I first saw Dave Barry on the cover, uh, Ridley Pearson as well, I have no idea. I, I had never come across Ridley Pearson before I read this book. Um, and uh, I had read Dave Barry, so I there was probably an expectation there um, that I feel was probably unfulfilled. Um, <clears throat> I don't... This actually also uh, deals with the uh, origins of Captain Hook um, and the crocodile and the whole hand-cutting-off thing and, and a, a slew of other things. Uh, Neverland and Tinkerbell and all that other stuff are addressed as part of this book. It's <clears throat> pretty weighty. Uh, the hardcover edition has 452 pages, so it's it's not uh, necessarily a light read. Um, but it is, <clears throat> um, in my mind, it, it is um, targeted towards towards uh, younger uh, younger audience. So the fact that it's not really a light uh, I don't want to say light, and, and I mean, you know, a book can be weighty and still be a light read. Uh, this, in in uh, in essence, is a much darker take on on Peter Pan. Um, the the light heartedness uh, that you I don't know that you would expect from the boy who never grow never grew up uh, just isn't there. Uh, not to say it's not worth the read. Not to say that um, it uh, that I didn't enjoy the book. Um, I read this one, and I also read the follow up, Peter and the Shadow Thieves. Um, I think there's actually more in this series than just the two. Yes, there's also the Secret of Rundun, Rundun, <clears throat> and uh, Peter and the Sword of Mercy, at the Bridge to Neverland. Yeah. Like that's the the last one in the series, uh, but uh, <clears throat> um, it's as as I said, possibly I didn't enjoy this as much as um, I thought I might, uh, just for the fact that I came into it expecting to have more of the same, more of the. Uh, uh, more of what I've, I had come to expect from Dave Barry. Uh, like I said, um, what I had read uh, from him, his, his columns, and, and as I said, uh, I'd lead, uh, I had read at least one other book by him before I had read this one, and um, all of his writings were humorous, uh, and this really was not. And the follow-up is not really any uh, lighter in tone. Um, there's some pretty grim uh, experiences in, uh, or I shouldn't say necessarily experiences, but there's some pretty grim scenes that take place. Um, that being said, um, it was okay. I, I can't say that that this one was really a, a glowing success. Uh, it says it's a national bestseller. I would assume that the reason it's a national bestseller is because of Dave Barry's name on the cover, um, not necessarily the content of the book. Um, as I said, I didn't find this one all that great. Um, it was a, it was okay, um, and possibly if I had come into it. Uh, without my expectation that this was going to be funny because Dave Barry wrote it, I probably would have enjoyed the book a bit more. That being said, it's still a, it's still an okay book. Um, possibly if you read it, you'll have a different experience than I, especially if you read this without that expectation of this is going to be funny. Uh, that's kind of what I was hoping for, the, that this would be a, a kind of a a boisterous swashbuckling tale as told by Dave Barry uh, in his kind of humorous nature uh, and 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 uh, that I was going to enjoy it a lot more, a lot more than I actually did. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, Peter and the Star Catchers. Let me know if you read it. Let me know what your experience was. Like, comment, subscribe. There's plenty of uh, uh, place down below to give, give your comments. Um, and as always, enjoy what you're reading.